guys welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a really kind of basic gothic makeup look just talking about the basics so first thing with like you know like a really basic gothic makeup look is putting on whatever you're gonna put on your face if you put anything on your face you know BB cream foundation it used to be really popular for people to put on like really really pale foundation I was part of that trend I don't do that anymore it's just not not a good look for me <laughs> to be walking around like a ghost but some people do so the first thing I I usually do is to do my eye makeup so what I'm gonna be doing is doing like a more neutral eye and then black lipstick I like to do like a little bit of a contrast, not like black and black. If I do black, I usually do like a colored lipstick for my lips, like a midnight blue or like a really dark plum color. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a neutral look on my eyes. I'm going to be starting out with this Nomad Intense Eyeshadow in Cantucci. Is that a little focus. Ah. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what it looks like. It is it's like toasted almond kind of color. That's right. I think that's I think that's <laughs> a good description. So I'm going to be putting that in the inner corner of my eyes and about halfway onto my lid. See, it's this nice kind of dark well, not dark, but, you know, vibrant. There we go. Kind of a vibrant, neutral. Like, like it's supposed to be like a tan color, but it's kind of orangey. I'll be doing that, the same thing on the other eye. Next, I'm going to be using my Zoeva Blanc Fusion Palette. I'm going to be using this color here, Conched. I'm going to be putting that more towards the center of my lid. I'm starting towards the center of my lid and then working my way out. And then going in and blending it with the other color that I had just put on. Not all the way into like the, the corner, but you know, towards the inner part of the lid. That's going to be an overall lid shade. doing the same thing on the other eye. Okay, next, I'm going to be going in with the same palette. I'm going to be using Last Bite, which is kind of like a really, 
like not a very vibrant but definitely pigmented like almost like a brown plum color like a mixture of those two colors I'm gonna be starting with the outer part of my lid and then going past that a little bit and bringing it down to my lower lid I'm not looking for a super sharp super sharp you know, cut off here. Not looking for a super sharp, sharp angle. Just, I don't know if you guys can hear that. The that's the test they're testing this tornado siren. Which it's not noon, so I guess they changed it. Normally tested at noon. And Wednesday, it's not Wednesday. I don't know what they're doing. There's definitely not a tornado right now. <laughs> and I'm also bringing this in my crease as well. And then blending it towards the center of my lid. I'm also going to bring it down my lower lid as well I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other eye like I said I'm not getting a very sharp cut off there with my Eyeliner. I hope you guys can't hear that because it's really annoying. <laughs> Definitely. I know they're testing it. Because they always do this. They're supposed to do it at like Wednesday. On Wednesday at like noon. But sometimes they do it at just like the weirdest times. So I'm bringing this again towards the center of my lid and in my crease as well. And then down onto my lower lid. And then next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going in with this color Sweetness Lingers. It's kind of a shimmery color. I like to do a little bit of a shimmer on the bottom. There we go. Now they stopped. I'm starting at the inner corner of my lower lid and sweeping it across. And then I'm gonna I'm blending it with the other matte color that I had just used. Me doing the same thing on the other eye. Starting in the inner corner on the lower lid, and sweeping it across. And then, of course, blending it in as well. So now that we've gotten kind of a neutral but somewhat dramatic eye look going on, you go in with a 
whatever eyeliner you prefer. I want kind of a smudgy look. I really like the liquid eyeliners because they're very precise, but I'm also a sucker for a really thick eyeliner. So I'm going to be going in with my KVD, I know it's KVD Beauty, Anti-Precision Pencil in Trooper Black. So I'm going to, I like to go on like the edge of my eyeliner and sweep it down, or the edge of my eyeshadow with my eyeliner and sweep down. You know, I've got kind of this little like corner going on. So I'm going to start there, bring it down across my lid. And I've got kind of a wing going on. Which, you can do that or not. It's up to you. If you're doing like a really thick eyeliner, there are different ways to do it. You know, some people prefer a wing. Some people prefer it to be like super messy and all over the place. I'm going to be taking my Araceli, Araceli Grande Blending Brush and blending this out because it's an anti-precision. I want something a little bit messier. I'm just smudging my eyeliner. On the edges. This eyeliner I'm using sets really fast. So, kind of want to work with it quickly. I did put a pretty thick layer on. So I did the top. I made that a little bit more smudgy, messy, smoky. That's just kind of the look I'm going for right now. Kind of like a punky look. Then I'm also going to do that on the lower lid as well. I'm going to start on this edge that I have. My, I have this little tiny curl that is like, just like one singular piece of hair in the way. So I'm going to bring this down onto my lower lid. Not all the way, just about halfway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and smudge that one out, too. And I'm smudging the top a little bit more too, just to get a more even smudged look, smoky eyeliner that I got going on right now. So you can see, that's what I got going on right now, a very, very smoky look. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to be using this little corner here for a little bit of a guide. If you're using an anti-precision liner, trying to get like the smoky eye look, smoky liner look, you do want to use kind of put like a thick layer on. I'm be doing the same thing as I did on the other one, on the other eye, blending it. 
and smudging it out. And then again, I'm going to be going onto the bottom, bringing it from this little wing I have going on here, down to the bottom, not all the way, just about halfway. And then smudging it out. And if you'll notice, I am smudging the wing as well to get like a smokier look like I did over here. The next one I'm going to do is, some people like highlighters, some people don't. Don't mind, my highlighter had a rough time at some point, my little palette here. Uh, some people use highlighter, some people don't. I'm going to go in with this cool highlighter right here, Creature. It looks super orange, but it's really not. It's from my Soraya Jade highlighter palette. I like the mirror. It says, I don't want to be like you. Don't be like everyone else. Be like you. Be yourself like you. Be like yourself, be you. Love it. I'm using this kind of like flat tip brush. This is just what I prefer to use for a highlighter. Like I said, this looks really orange, but it's not as orange when you put it on. So I like to like highlight my lips as well as my cheeks. So I'll do my lips first. And then just kind of sweep it onto my cheeks. That looks really dark at first, but if you blend it out, it's not so dark. And I like to apply highlighter to several places on my face. Not everybody likes highlighter, not everybody likes to put highlighter all over the place. But I do. I just like to blend it out a little bit. So if you can see, it's got kind of a golden, golden look to it. And then I'm going to be going in with my black lipstick. Or this is not my lipstick, this is my eyeliner. All of my black makeup. I have so much black makeup. My black lipstick, it is Mega Last. It's Wet n Wild. I used to love Wet n Wild and I didn't like their stuff for a while. And I really like this I really like this liquid lipstick. It's Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in So Noir Cool. So I'll be putting that on. So that's my black liquid lipstick with my more neutral eyeshadow. 
Just kind of a basic goth look. I might do like a more, I know I'm gonna be doing some more glamorous goth makeup looks, but it's just kind of like a simple, really basic, kind of like, I would call this a casual look, even though I put on like a ton of highlighter. And it took me like 20 minutes to do my makeup. I still would call this more casual because I like to get dramatic with my makeup. <laughs> Which is what intense goth makeup winds up being anyways, is just dramatic and dark and mysterious. I prefer, I honestly prefer to do like a liquid lipstick, even though it stays tacky for a few minutes. You gotta keep your hair away from it because it'll dry and not get all over your teeth. And even if it does, you just like wipe it off and then when it's dry, it won't get all over your teeth because it'll be dry. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, check out my other videos. And I'll see you next time.